Assalamu alaikum everyone. We'll be starting the session with going over the syllabus to explain to you what you will gain from the English class and what is expected of you in the classroom. The syllabus will also go over the selections that we will be covering this term. Please go ahead and acquaint yourself with the instructional goals of this classroom. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher and specify exactly what you don't understand. The required materials for this class are your textbook, a laptop, a tablet, or an iPad, your English journal, your English portfolio, and the novel Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. Please make sure that your portfolio has everything that you've worked on in the classroom, such as classwork, assignments, homework, and such. This is to show your teacher that you've been working during the classes. Now let's take a look at the course schedule. In term three, we'll be going over three units. First, we'll be starting with The Devil and Tom Walker, and we'll be covering this during three weeks. So in the first week, we'll be going through vocabulary study and vocabulary strategy. In the second week, we'll be doing reading. And in the third week, we'll be doing grammar and writing. Each week, you will only have one assignment. So the first week, you'll have a vocabulary assignment. The second week, it will be a reading assignment. And in the third week, it will be a writing and grammar assignment. For this term's writing workshop, we'll be writing a short story. And every week, we'll be going over parts of writing a short story as well as grammar. By the end of the writing workshop, you are expected to have completed a complete short story. This short story will be submitted to your teacher through Edmodo or MS Teams. This will be acknowledged and it will be covered in the class with your teacher. Our final selection for the term is going to be how it feels to be colored me. We'll be covering this in three weeks as well. However, there will be a week where you're expected to work on your second novel project. More information will be given to you by your teacher. For the final two weeks of the term, we'll be working on revision and portfolio presentations. During the revision week, you are expected to go through your portfolio and find out if you have any missing work. During the portfolio presentations week, you are expected to present your portfolio to your teacher and to your classmates. If you cannot attend the live session, then you're expected to record a video of yourself presenting your portfolio. Now let's go through the grading scale. Your grade will mainly depend on four aspects. However, all of these aspects are equally important as 1% could be the difference between a 99 and 100. As usual, we'll have reading literature, reading informational, writing, and language. All of these are worth 15%. Speaking and listening are both worth 10% each. As for classwork and homework, as well as portfolio and conduct, they are all worth 5% ahead and acquaint yourself with the policies and procedures that we will be expecting from you as the student. Of course, just because we're doing distance learning doesn't mean that class rules don't apply. So please do read this thoroughly and report to your teacher once you are done reading it. If you have any questions about anything within this guideline, then please ask your teacher. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we'll be starting a new selection, The Devil and Tom Walker. We'll be starting with the vocabulary. In total, this selection has 12 target vocabulary words, but for this session we'll be focusing on six of them. Before I do now, please read the following sentence and then answer the question, what is an antonym for the word melancholy? In the next slide, we'll be discussing the learning intentions of today's class and the success criteria. Basically, what are you getting from this class? The intentions of this lesson are the following. To identify the vocabulary words within the text, to use context clues to find the vocabulary word meanings, and to use the vocabulary words to form meaningful sentences. By the end of this session, you'll hopefully be able to identify the vocabulary words within the text, use the context clues to find the vocabulary word meanings, find synonyms and similar meanings to the new vocabulary words, and create meaningful sentences using the vocabulary words. 
Our first word is avarice, used in the following example. There seemed to be no limit to Tom's avarice. He would do anything for money. So avarice means extreme greed or want for materialistic things. Now, in simpler terms, we could say someone that's greedy could be described as someone that has avarice. What does that mean? So let's say someone has, has a new car. Their car is fairly new. They've barely used it but they want to buy an even newer car. Now, this would be described as avarice because there is no need for this person to buy a newer car when they already own a pretty good car. Our next word is censure, which comes from the word censure. Censure generally means to criticize, and it can be a verb or a noun. In this example, we have Tom being a censurer. And so we can see that censure here is an adjective. And it, in the sentence, if we read it, it says he was a loud censure of other people's behavior. This means that Tom liked to criticize other people. Next, we have melancholy. Melancholy can be used as a noun and an adjective. And in the example that we have here, we're using melancholy as an adjective. The dark forest was a melancholy place, likely to lower anyone's spirits. And here we're describing the forest as melancholy. While if we want to use melancholy as a noun, we have another example. Mitchell sounds utterly alone in her melancholy, turning the sadness into tender art. And so here, melancholy is used as a state of being. Next, we have ostentation which means the excessive display of wealth, especially for the purpose of attracting attention. And so in the example we see here, Tom wanted to impress others with his wealth. His car was an example of such ostentation. We can see that Tom simply bought a car that was uh, very showy just to impress others. The next word is persecution. Persecution means the hostile or ill treatment of others, especially because of their race or their religious beliefs. We can think of a lot of examples from real life of persecution. Our own Prophet وسلم, even faced persecution simply because he practiced Islam and he wanted to spread Islam all over the world. And so he was persecuted by his own people. Our final word for this session is precarious. Precarious is an adjective and it basically means something that is dependent on chance circumstances, unknown conditions, or uncertain developments. An example is, let's say you want to go out with your friends. You all plan something, but you don't say the date and you don't say the time. And so your plans are basically up in the air because no one really knows when they're going to happen. This week, you will have one class assignment per week. So that means that you are going to be working on one assignment this week. You're going to be working on this assignment during the class. This is separate from class activities. So during the lesson, you'll be given time to work on this task. For this assignment, please open up the selection, The Devil and Tom Walker, and please find eight to ten new words. Now this is going to be a leveled assignment. That means that you have to do it in steps. You can start with step two or step three or even step four, but you have to do all of these steps in order for you to acquire as many new words into your vo vocabulary as possible. So step one is you have to find the meanings of eight to ten new words. Step two is you have to find a synonym and an antonym for the eight to 10 new words. Step three, you have to create sentences using these new words. And step four, you have to find the etymology or the origin of all of these words. This is going to be a little bit easier because you can find a lot of information online about words. After you're done, please submit your assignment through Edmodo. Before we end our session, please complete the exit ticket. This is a fun one as I challenge you to create a haiku using some of the words that we learned today. Now we'll be covering the last six words in the vocabulary study. As usual, we'll be starting our session with a do now. 
Think of the word incantation. What does it remind you of and what do you think it means? Our learning intentions for this session are to identify the vocabulary words within the text, to use context clues to find the vocabulary word meanings, and to use the vocabulary words to form meaningful sentences. Our success criteria for this session are I can identify the vocabulary words within the text. I can use the context clues to find the vocabulary word meanings. I can find synonyms and similar meanings to the new vocabulary words. And I can create meaningful sentences using the vocabulary words. If you can relate to all of these, then you have successfully completed the lesson. We're starting this session with propitious. Propitious generally means something that is good or advantageous, something that is going to bring a lot of good things to you. So an example in a sentence would be, now is a propitious time to start a business. Of course, now is not really a good time to start a business, but it says that it is an advantageous time. Let's say there's a lot of money in the market and a lot of people want to buy things. It would be a good time to start a business. Now, propitious also comes from Latin and just like a lot of other English words. And it has synonyms uh, such as favorable and auspicious, which all mean the same thing, which is pointing towards a happy outcome. Our next word is speculating, which comes from the word speculate. They are both verbs. However, speculating is the present participle of speculate. How do we know that it's a present participle? Because it, it's a form of verb ending with ing. Now, speculating means the guessing generally. So if we want to relate it to the current times, we can think about when we first stopped attending school. When we first stopped attending school, a lot of people were speculating about the end of the year. Were we going to have exams? Are we going to just end the year? So a lot of people were speculating about the outcome. Our next word is usurer. Usurer is the verb form of the noun usury. Usury means lending money at very high rates of interest. You might be wondering, what is interest? So this takes us to math. Basically, let's use this example. Alex wants to borrow $1,000 from the bank. And the local bank says it comes with 10% interest. So to borrow the $1,000 for one year will cost Alex $100 because we're multiplying 1000 by 10%. Now, in this case, because Alex wants to return or has to return the $1000 to the bank in one year, he has to add extra money to it. And so in one year, instead of paying back $1000, Alex will have to pay back $1100. So basically, it is interest is the price of borrowing money from somewhere. Here, usurer is a person who lends money at a reasonably high rates of interest. So instead of the $100, they would maybe take 200 or 300. Maybe the person that borrows from them will have to pay 2000 instead of the original $1000. Our next word is treacherous. Treacherous is the adjective of the noun treachery. Treachery means the disregard of trust or faith, basically betrayal. Now let's use an example. We have our boy here, William, right? William Shakespeare, and then we, we have Tom. Let's say William tells Tom, hey, Tom, I did not write all of my plays, but you shouldn't tell anyone because then people would stop respecting me. But Tom thinks, no, if I release William's information, then I'll become really famous. Okay, and so that sort of thinking makes Tom a treacherous person. Okay, and so because he spread the William's secret, he becomes a treacherous person. He has betrayed William's trust. Our next word is termagant, which means violent character. This basically means that if someone is naturally a very violent person, we can call them a termagant. Historically speaking, termagant was used against women 
who simply wanted their rights or they got angry about mistreatment and so a lot of sexist societies would discriminate against women by calling them termigants however dictionaries have started referring to the meaning of the word termigant as a violent character in order to make it um, more of a word that is used for both genders our final vocabulary word is incantation Incantation is a noun, and it comes from the Latin word incantare. Incantare means enchant. Cantare means to sing. Magic and ritual have always been associated with chanting, singing, and music. Incantations are usually associated with strange languages. However, we still have examples such as abracadabra or leviosa. For our class assignment, please use the vocabulary words that you learned from session one and two in your own sentences. You can also create a short story. Compose this assignment as a word file and submit your assignment on Edmodo. This week, you will have one class assignment per week. So that means that you are going to be working on one assignment this week. You're going to be working on this assignment during the class. This is separate from class activities. So during the lesson, we've reached the end of our sessions for vocabulary. So please answer the following questions as honestly as possible. Why? Because it helps you track your learning process and helps you take charge. The questions are the following. What am I doing? How am I doing it? Where to next? And what do I need to do to improve? We'll go through them one by one to help you understand exactly what you need to do. So what am I doing is what have you done in this session? How am I doing it is what techniques do you use to learn what you learned in this lesson? Where to next is where do you expect yourself to go after this point? Are you going to learn even more vocabulary words? And what do I need to improve? This basically asks you, is there something that you did in this session that you think you could have done better? To answer these questions, please create a poster, make it as creative as possible, and answer the questions. I would suggest you use this site called canva.com.